Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Civic Center in Cornerbrook for this Central West Senior Hockey League game between the Cornerbrook Royals and the Deer Lake Red Wings. I'm Chris Green. I'll bring you the play-by-play, -play, and Evan uh, McHugh will provide the camera work for this second game of a home-and-home -home series. Last night, it was absolutely incredible what happened. The Cornerbrook Royals defeated the Deer Lake Red Wings at the Hunter Memorial Recreation Complex by a score of six to five. But the story of the game was the late dramatics. The Deer Lake Red Wings were up four to two in the second period, and then uh, the Royals tied it up. In uh, the midway mark of the third period, the Royals were shorthanded, five on three, and the uh, the uh, Deer Lake Red Wings scored, and it was five to four. So the uh, Royals, with their backs to the wall, had a two-man power play, five on three. They pulled the goalie, six skaters on three, and it was uh, a goal scored by the Royals with three seconds left. Tied the game, 5-5. Royals still on the power play, four on three in overtime. Scored again and won the game 6-5. Now, tonight, the Royals are honoring alumni the 1963-64 Quinnebrook Royals, and this is the 60th anniversary of their Herder win against the Buckins Miners, and so Mickey Walsh is going to drop the puck. He was a member of that. 63-64 Cornerbrook Royal squad that won the herder in dramatic fashion as Mickey is there by the boards number 14 two captains they're at the penalty box for the ceremonial faceoff and well done of course Mickey thank you Mickey is uh, also a great baseball player in his day with the Cornerbrook Barons. Time now for the National Anthem. Cornerbrook Royals defend the goal to our left. Deer Lake Red Wings defend the goal to our right. Goaltender for the Royals tonight is Ian Wolfrey. And for the Deer Lake Red Wings, it's Billy Clark. So 
to see what happens in the second game, the home and home. Coach Rocky Bromley proud of his team and the way they came back. Down not once, but twice. And then won the game against Deer Lake where Darren Langdon, the coach of the Red Wings, tell, tells me before the game, Steve's got to do a better job at board checking. So here we go. Michael Hines and King for the faceoff. Shot in to the Royal Zone. Now Deer Lake trying to press. Puck eluded coffee. Steer towards goal and a great opportunity there. Jones trying to keep it in, checked by Coffey. Josh Smith couldn't get a handle on it. Andrew Smith shoots it in, heads to the bench. I thought he was gonna head to the bench on a line change, but he's watching Coffey on the stretch pass. And Deer Lake has completed their change. Now the Royals have completed theirs. Nearing the first minute of this first period. Langdon. Crossed the blue line. Checked in the corner. And the Royals will come with possession. Pass at center ice. Shot in. Good hit there by Sims. Wrist shot. That's blocked. Royals firing around the goal. For Langdon, he'll dump it in. Red Wings changing their defense. Kept in the zone. Steered the one side. Banked off the glass down the ice. Is that icing? Yes, and play is called. 137, gone in this first period. No score. Here at the Civic Center on a Saturday night. And we welcome you to this game, and we'd like to... Thank those that are watching from one end of this continent to the other. We understand they love their Newfoundland senior hockey. From the faceoff. Puck along the boards, and out come the Royals. Headman pass. Crossing the blue line on the left wing, looking for Andal in front. Shot right on! And it's stopped by Clark. And we'll get a faceoff. To the right of the Deer Lake goal. Whether in British Columbia, California, Florida, glad you're aboard. From the faceoff, it's the Red Wings who had control. Royals getting it back. It's behind the net. Lucas McKay. Crossing his blue line, got some space, passing ahead, tipped into the Royal zone, but it's cleared out. Sims, will shoot it back in, hits the back of the net. You're like making changes. Stretch pass, no icing. Good year. In a hurry to Sims, to Coffey. Michael Hines beyond the net. He's checked by Guy. Picked up by the Royals. Normor passing ahead. Here come the Royals towards goal. Shot right on. Rebound right on. Steer towards goal. It's in. No goal. That was, I'm going to say, gloved in. We don't have the uh, advantage of replay, but the referee immediately blew it down. There'll be no explanation, but I'm going to assume it was gloved in. And, and because of that infraction, the faceoff comes outside the blue line. As a glove ahead pass, or it could have been a glove on glove, and in the net. Gearlake at center. Robinson behind the goal. Centers it. Pad save. Rebound picked up. And it's banked off the into the Royals bench and play is called. 
3-10 gone in this first period, no score. And we get a face off to the left of the Royals goal. Josh Smith will take the face off for the Royals. And from the face off. Controlled by Coffey behind the net. He's checked. Andrew Smith, long pass, bouncing in front of the Deer Lake bench. And here come the Royals behind the goal. Josh Smith, this pass. It's a body and Coffey. Stretch pass too far for his winger. Brandon Hines and play is called for icing. 3.38 gone by in this first period. No score. Royals had a goal taken away from them. Jordan King for the faceoff for the Royals against Drew Langdon. Langdon winning it to Sims. Passing around. As his defensive partner, McKay, to Sims, tipped ahead. And the Royals, well, opportunity for Deer Lake. Puck goes into the Royals zone, and the Royals will come away with it. Crossing the blue line, shot, stick save, Clark. Trying to hit the back of the net. And out come the Red Wings. Cross ice pass at center. Swiped into the Royals zone by Thomas. And here come the Royals. Cross ice pass broken up at center. Sims at center. Red Wings bringing it in. Pass over broken up. And here come the Royals three on three. Dumped in, and that's a sign for the Royals to start changing them up. Clark has to play it in a hurry and around, but it's kept in. It's out now and passed back. Looking for Hunt too far. That's icing. And play is called. Three seconds away from the five minute mark of this first period. No score. Good crowd on hand tonight here at the Civic Center. Face off to the left of the cornerback goal. And Guy has possession. Passing on the right wing. Cross ice pass at center ice, and the Royals will hit the Deer Lake blue line. Passing into the slot area, shot right on. And a save there by Clark on Tyler Hunt. McKay. Being watched by Hunt. And he'll retreat behind his goal to try and establish the breakout. And meanwhile, Deer Lake is changing, and likewise the Royals. McKay with room, passing over, tipped in. Steered to one side, into the corner. Back to the point, Robinson, shot deflection. Loose in front. Back to the blue line and out to center ice. Robinson being harassed. Here come the Royals on the left wing. In the circle of the shot, that's wide of the goal. Guy from the point position, pinching in. Steered around the goal by Normore. Back to the point. Shot, deflection, that's into the corner. Normore, his stick shattered in front of him. Has to get a new twig. And the corner. Royals back to the point. Fired around the boards. Andrew Smith tied up along the boards. Smith again. But Coffey comes up with it. And he'll break out on the left wing at center ice. Hitting the Royals blue line. Cross ice pass. Robinson. Shot. That's high wide and around. Sims at the left point. His shot hit a leg. Ends up behind the net. Centered. 
They score! Dylan Coffey from Hines, Brandon Hines, at 6.58. So the Deer Lake Red Wings get the first goal of the game with Brandon Hines going around the goal and setting up Coffey for the one nothing lead. Picking up some loose debris, broken stick after that goal. That's why the delay, and here we go. Puck goes into the crowd. And no penalty because it was deflected by two sticks. And the face off outside the blue line of the Deer Lake Red Wings. And from the faceoff, comes back to Allenby. He passed over and it's shot in. And the puck is on the mesh and we'll get a faceoff. And it comes outside the blue line since it was a Royals player who committed the infraction of putting the uh, puck on the mesh. And the face-off, as I said, outside the, the Deer Lake Blue Line. Jordan King and Drew Langdon for this face-off. King for the Royals, Langdon for Deer Lake. And it's kicked back into the Deer Lake zone. A shot right on. And Clark is going to cover up and generate a face-off to the right of the Deer Lake goal. one nothing. Deer Lake leads. On a goal by Coffey. From the faceoff. Puck ends up behind the net. Centered and just fired wide. Back to the point. Another stick broke. That's three tonight. Why, gee whiz. Management of both teams ain't going to like that. <laughs> they ain't cheap. <laughs> Behind the goal. Battle for it. And the Royals still pressing. It's passed around the net. Allaby pitching in from his defensive position. Passing over in front. Oh, just couldn't connect as the Royals had a player all alone in front. And here come the Red Wings, four of them. Shooting it in. Long shot. Another shot, that's wide and around. Kept in at the point. Shot hits a leg, comes back. Another shot, stopped in front. And the Royals crossing center. Hanging on to it. Ooh. That player is not getting up. And boy, there you are, not happy. That's, I got a replay of it. Oh my gosh. Who am I? The player is up and making his way. That's Ryan. And that's got everybody on the Royals bench up and not happy. Face off outside the blue line of Deer Lake. And from the face off, comes back towards the Deer Lake goal. McKay moving around his net, passing over on the right wing, shot in. Stop behind the goal by Wolfrey. He'll pass around. And here come the Royals on the left wing, two on three. Stops, Hunt. Backhand pass, broken up, got it back. Chops at it, ends up behind the Deer Lake goal in the opposite corner now. McKay passing over, trying to get a return pass. He's being harassed. 
And a lead pass, and here come the uh, Red Wings. Penny. Shot right on, stick save. Shot in by the Red Wings. Getting a little bit physical now after that hit on Ryan. Hawk is free in the corner. Banked off the glass, down the ice. Goodyear for the Red Wings. Both teams making changes as we approach the midway mark of the first period. one nothing Deer Lake. Coffey behind the goal. He eludes a check in turn. Trying to hit his man. Who comes free with a headband pass to King. Who is checked. Oh, it hops out. And here comes Hines. Brandon Hines. One-on-one -on -one shot. That's wide. And it's back to the Deer Lake blue line. They got to be careful. The change. Not to be called for too many men, but they're okay. Harassing there. Jordan King in the corner. Trying to center it. Pedaling coming up to the Red Wing. Play is called. And we're going to get the first power play of the night. Where are we going to get more? So, originally Deer Lake at 1037. Getting the penalty. Cross checking. It is the call. And getting the gate is Lucas Robinson for Deer Lake. Royals on the power play, 22.3%. Third in the league, Deer Lake on the penalty kill, 80.6%. They're first in the league. From the faceoff, Royals with a man of daddy. Back to the point. Now shot, blocked by Langdon, he'll clear. And we got a chase for it at center ice at the Royals blue line. Going in, short-handed! And stopped by Wolfrey. Great opportunity there for Christopher Thomas. In the corner. Gerlich, and now the Royals are going to get a penalty. Interference looked like the call. And that ends the Royals... Power play. Warning. Check that. Warning. At 11:10, Antel going off for the Royals. So both teams will play four on four for a minute and 27 seconds, and then. Deer Lake will have a 33-second man advantage. From the faceoff to the left of goal. Flipped out to center ice, Sims at his own blue line. Long pass too far, it's icing. And play is caught. 109 left in the penalty to Robinson. 142 left in the penalty to uh, Antel. Face off to the left of the Deer Lake goal. From the face off, King. Passing around, Red Wings. Sims. Lead pass on the right wing, shot in. And another penalty as the Deer Lake player is upended. And it's Gillum who's going to get the gate for hooking. At 11.49, now Deer Lake goes back on the power play.
with a situation of four skaters on three. So, 48 seconds left in the Robinson penalty for Deer Lake. 121, Antle, Cornerbrook, and a fresh two minutes against Gillum of Cornerbrook. Four on three. Sims. Hines. Shot by Hines. That's Brandon Hines. Michael Hines with it. Passing over. Sims. Controlling. Hines. Back to Sims. Four on three. Going towards goal now around the net. Deer Lake controlling on this power play. Pass intercepted. Looking for Brandon Hines. And it's shot down the ice. Clark will stop it. Behind his goal. And leave it for Stephen Sims. 1-0 Deer Lake leading. Nearing the 13-minute mark of this first period. Coffee for the Red Wings. Behind the goal. Back to the point. It's five on three, Deer Lake. Sims. Passing over. Cross ice. Back to the point. Sims with it. Fakes the shot. Now lets it go. That's off the glass. Robinson. Passing to the corner. Hines shot. Blocker save. Wolfrey. Royals are now one man short. Another shot. Block. And out of play. So. Royals have weathered off one storm here. Five on three, now it's five on four for 35 seconds. 6.47 left in this first period. Face off to the right of the Cornerbrook goal. Parsons taking the face off for the Red Wings and winning it back. Robinson with it at the point. Passing over, shot, low one. Oh, that goes through the crease. And the Royals dodge a bullet and shoot it down the ice with 20 seconds left in the Deer Lake power play. One last chance here for the Red Wings. Passing over, Parsons. Shot from a sharp angle. That's off a stick. Off a leg, back to the point. Pass over, shot, oh, what a save! And that's off the end glass. And the Royals are back at full strength. Wolfrey with a brilliant save just a few moments ago. And the Red Wings continue to put on the pressure and Wolfrey's gonna smother and play his call. What a save there by Wolfrey. Absolutely brilliant. As Deer Lake were putting on the pressure and then all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom, there. And Wolfrey smothering it. 5.53 left in this first period with Deer Lake leading 1-0. And now the Red Wings are all for two on the power play. Royals are all for one, but they only had a short power play, but nonetheless, it does count. It wasn't a full two minutes. Colbert trying to get it out. Comes back to the point. Got it to the corner. And Deerlake player went down. Goodyear, he's going to the bench. Shot, that's off a leg. And the Royals clear the zone. Lead pass tipped in by Langdon. Again, we're getting the physical play. Langdon passing over a shot. That's off a stick into the corner. Langdon centering it. It's loose in front, but Wolfrey's on top of it. And play is called. What do they say in hockey? Familiarity breeds contempt. And these two teams saw each other last night. And... Uh, game that saw the Royals win 6-5 in overtime. Just the one goal in this period. Coffee scoring for Deer Lake from Brandon Hines. And 
Michael Hines having something to say to the referee and linesman. From the faceoff, back to the point. Coffee cross ice pass for Brandon Hines. That's intercepted. And the Royals are going to shoot it into the Deer Lake zone. Normore Wells couldn't come up with possession. And it's lugged out the center ice. And Hines gets around one. Passing over Coffee. Getting it back. Shot that just went wide of the goal. And play is called. And we got a cross checking penalty against the Royals at 15 23. Getting the gate for the Royals will be Alibi. And this is Deer Lake's third power play of this first period. Face off to the right of the corner for goal. And shot down the ice. Clark leaving it for a sins. Passing over on the right wing. Cross ice pass too far for Langdon, and that's icing against the Deer Lake Red Wings, and the play will come back with a face off in the Red Wings zone to the left of goal. From the face off, Langdon winning it. Sins. Crossing his blue line at center ice. Passing over on the left wing. Robbins. Sims. Sims again. Hines. Swiped into the corner by Langdon. Centered, but the Royals intercept. And a shot down the ice. Trying to catch the Royals on a line change on this power play. Here comes Hines. He'll shoot it around. And the Red Wings. Sims. Robin. Yes, Robinson with a shot off a leg. Passing ahead. And the Royals again. Doing a diligent job of penalty killing here with 40 seconds left in the power play. Off the boards and out. Tipped in by Penny. That's off the glass and down the ice again. No icing with the Royals shorthanded. 2.58 to go. First period. 1 0 Deer Lake. 18 seconds left in the Deer Lake power play. Penny passing on the wing. Oh, Wolfrey with a nice save there. Where is it? It's loose. Referee lo lo says he's lost sight of it, and play is called. So Deer Lake trying on their power play to expand on their lead, but only to be denied by the Royals' penalty killing and goaltender Ian Wolfrey. Four seconds left in the uh, Deer Lake power play. From the face off. Ooh, stick hit it. Ends up behind the net, Deer Lake. Power play has ended. Royals are back at full strength. And Lead pass at center ice. Broken up. Here come the Royals again. Shot into the Deer Lake zone. Clark behind his goal. Has to bank it off the boards, but it's intercepted. And the Red Wings are going to come away with a lead pass on the right wing. Just over two minutes left in this first period. 
Lead pass on the left wing. Here's the shot. Oh, that hit the post. That dinged off the post. Langdon gave it away. Got it back. Off the boards. It's behind the net. Andrew Smith passing. Centered. Intercepted, but not out. The Royals keeping the pressure on. And shot in by Jones. Both teams making changes with 1.15 to go in the first period. Sims for Deerlake. Oh, he took a, a hit that brought the crowd. Now they're going to call a penalty. Ooh, and the Royals don't like that. Roughing is the call. Yeah, you can hear the fans' voice there. Reaction to it at 18:55. Andrew Smith for roughing. And for Deer Lake, back with the man advantage. And these latter stages of the first period. I'm gonna fix the clock. Somebody was a bit trigger happy. One second. Got to go back to 105 and a fresh two minutes on the uh, penalty clock. Well, they got the fresh two minutes on the penalty clock. Now let's see if they can get it back to one minute and five seconds remaining. Now they say, okay. Oh, okay. From the faceoff. Deer Lake on the power play. Red Wings controlling. Back to the point. Again. Here's the shot. Pad save. Rebound. And shot down the ice. Clark will stop it behind the goal for. Robinson having his problems passes over to McKay that hit a leg Robinson trying to bring it across the blue line but he won't get possession that's gloved down and play continues because a Royal player touched the puck Coffey passing to the corner back to the point to McKay eight seconds left shot by Brandon Hines that stop back to McKay one second left and that's it the period is over and the score after 20 minutes of play Deer Lake Red Wings won Cornerbrook Royals nothing the only goal Deer Lake scoring copy from Brandon Hines penalties in that period at 1037 Robinson for cross checking 11-10, Cornerbrook, Antle boarding. 11-49, Cornerbrook, Gillum hooking. 15-23, Cornerbrook, Allaby cross-checking. Cornerbrook, 18-55, Andrew Smith for roughing. Power plays in that period. Cornerbrook 0 for 1, Deerlake 0 for 3, and they'll enter the second period with a 28-second. Check that. 105. I got to do some math there because the clock is uh, gone... Uh, a little bit wonky. So 55 second power play for the uh, Deer Lake Red Wings, their fourth one, uh, entering the second period. Score once again. Deer Lake Red Wings won. Cornerbrook Royals nothing. We'll be back with our second period after the intermission break. See you then.
Back at the Civic Center in Quarterbrook, I'm Chris Green, welcoming you to the second period of tonight's Central West Senior Hockey League game between the Deer Lake Red Wings, the visitors in white, and the Quarterbrook Royals, the home team in blue. And it's Deer Lake leading by a score of 1 0. Cop getting that goal early in the first period. Deer Lake will start the second period on the power play for a minute and five seconds. Andrew Smith went off for roughing. Uh, power plays in that first period. Quarterback was 0 for 1. Deer Lake 0 for 3, and they're on power play number four right now as we speak. Just a reminder, next weekend, Cornerbrook Royals will wrap up their home schedule with a pair of games. They'll take on the Stephenville Lightning here at the Civic Center Friday, February 2nd at 8 o'clock. And then the two teams meet again here at the Civic Center Saturday, February 3rd. Game time is 7.30. The Royals finish their schedule February 9th. Friday in Stephenville. That's an 8 o'clock start. And then Sunday afternoon, they're in Grand Falls, Windsor to face the Cataracts. And that's a 1.30 in the afternoon start. All right, here we go. Deer Lake, five skaters on four. Time now for our second period to get underway. And from the faceoff, Jones with it for the Royals. And he'll just wrist it all the way down the ice. Of course, no icing with the uh, Royal shorthanded. 40 seconds left in the Deer Lake power play. Lead pass on the left wing, tipped in. Wolfrey has to play it in a hurry. That hits a Deer Lake stick. Goes to Coffee, leaving it back to the point. Man Sims. Shot off a stick in front. Shot again. That's stopped by Wolfrey. Another chance. And that hit the side of the goal. Hines passing back, cross ice pass, Sims. 12 seconds left in the power play, shot. That's blocked in front by Jones. Back ends it out. Flipped ahead, Robinson for Coffey. Royals are back at full strength. Cross ice pass, long shot by Hines. Robinson sharp angle, that hit guy stick. Andrew Smith out of the penalty box, passing back to Jones. Shot around down the ice. I ooh, call that icing. Figured. Gonna face off back in the uh, Royal Zone. Langdon out there for Deer Lake to take the face off against Jordan King. From the faceoff, nope, got me fooled too, along with about four other players. Let's do it again. King has waved out. And from the faceoff, shot hits a stick. Normore Wells, lead pass, that hits the back of King, Jordan King. Cleared out the center. And the Royals will shoot it in. Kyle Brown round the boards. King, he's checked. Steered along the boards, but the Royals keep it in. Round the goal. Still behind the net. Back to the point. No more Wells with it at the right point. Passing into the corner. In the circle. Shot towards goal. That hits a leg. Comes back to Normore Wells. Passing again into the corner to Antle. It's the side of the goal. In front shot, that's blocked. Another shot, that's blocked. And it's chopped out on the backhand down the ice, and both teams are going to change them up. Shot around the goal. Kept in by Parsons. And that's offside. Deerlight play is called. And the faceoff is going to go all the way back into the... Uh, Oh, got some pleasant trees by the Deer Lake bench after that offside call. Is this going to warrant a penalty or not? There's 
basketball a piece up scoring back to the deer like zone for the offside deer like was not making an attempt to uh, clear the zone and get back on side so Faceoff comes to the left of Clark, 227 gone in this first second period. It is 1-0 Deerlake. And from the faceoff, back to the point. Goes all the way down the ice. Allaby banks it off the boards and out but brought back in. And out comes Gillum. Passing over to Antle on the left wing. Antle comes back to the point. Shot. That's off the end glass. Kept in by Alibi. Banked off the glass down the ice, and that should be icing. And it is. And we'll get a face off. <laughs> One second shy of the three minute mark of this second period. Welcome aboard. I know there are senior hockey fans, Corner Book Royal fans all over the place. And we welcome your shout outs where you're watching it from, which has really surprised me. From the face off to the right of the Deer Lake goal. And it's behind the net. The Red Wings trying to move it out on the wing. Guy keeping it in the Deer Lake zone. Ahead for Coffee. Wide on the left wing. Flips it into the corner. Guy for the Royals. Passing ahead. Give and go. Guy coming out at center. Crossing the blue line. Going in. One on one. Guy just couldn't get a shot away. Still has it behind the net. Centers it, but that's broken up. And it's steered around the goal. Here come the Red Wings. Hines, Hines, Coffee looking for Hines, steered to one side. Michael Hines, back to the point to Robinson for Coffee. Sharp angle shot. That hit the post. And Wolfrey Smothers in play is called. So the, both teams here have had opportunities, but denied. And Coffee with a great opportunity just then to get his second of the night, but hit the post. Face off to the left of the Royals goal. Drew Langdon out there for the Red Wings against Jordan King. And Josh Smith on net. Andrew Smith's pass broken up at center. And it's backhanded. It, oh, look at that. A deer like player. Thomas was checked by Allaby into the penalty box. Wow. And here come the Red Wings, though. Parsons centers it, goes through the slot area and out. Oh, my. That, we have got a penalty against deer like for cross checking. So Cornerbrook goes on the power play. At 431, going off for Deer Lake will be Sims, the defenseman, for cross checking. And for the Royals, it's their second power play of the night. They're 0 for 1. Face off to the right of the Deer Lake goal. And from the face off, Robinson off the boards for Deer Lake, but not out of the zone. Passed over. Royals controlling, but for only a moment. And it's shot down the ice by Mullet. Steered around the goal. Come the Royals hunt. Steered into the Deer Lake zone. But it's cleared out to center rise. As King has it. Cross ice pass inside his own blue line. He gets it in return. 
Jordan King coming out, lots of room at center ice, crossing the blue line with a wrist shot and a glove saved by Clark and play is called. 114 left in the Royals power play, 517 gone in this second period, 1-0. Deer Lake leading on a first period goal by Dylan Coffey. Face-off will be to the right of the Deer Lake goal. Antle for the Royals. Out there for the face-off. Banked off the boards, but not out. Kept in. Behind the goal. Back to the point. Allaby. Cross-ice pass. Into the corner. At the hash marks. Hanging on behind the net. Again, back to the point. Shot towards goal, hits a leg. Deer Lake player tried to shoot it around the goal, but the Royals are going to get possession. Back at the blue line, Allaby, his shot deflected wide. King centering it. Comes back again to Allaby with 30 seconds left in the power play. Shot, that's off the end glass, bounces to, off the top of the net and into the corner. King with it. Hanging on, having a look. Comes back to the point, uh, over to King. Again, behind the net, back to Andel. Marching in, shot right out, rebound! It's loose, and Clark smothers, and play is called. Well, the Royals having their opportunities on this power play, but Clark coming up big. Eight seconds left in this Cornerbrook power play. 6.23 gone in this second period. Both teams making changes. And from the faceoff, back to Guy. Shot right on, stick save, rebound in the corner. Deer Lake's back at full strength. Round the Deer Lake net. Royals keep it inside the blue line. And the Red Wings are going to break out on the right wing. Shot in. Stopped by Wolfrey behind the net, steers it around the goal. Red Wings with it, trying to center it. Deer Lake pressing here. But all they can do is push it into the corner. Langdon trying to center it. Again, Langdon. Battling for it, got it back to the point. Payne, passing. Steered around the net by Parsons. Again, Deer Lake. Langdon just pushes the puck into the corner. Guy for the Royals. He's harassed. It's puck is bouncing around side of the goal. Centered. Intercepted. And the Royals going to break out three on two. On the right wing, crossing the blue line. Pass back. Smith, he's checked. Now the Red Wings are going to swing away on an odd man rush. Robinson passing in front. Man was all alone. Sims and couldn't uh, check that. That was uh, butt and couldn't uh, hang on. Clark, the goalie, steers it around his goal. Ryan shooting it back in to Deer Lake territory. Quarters are close there in front of the Deer Lake bench, and the Royals will come away with it. Ends up behind the Deer Lake goal. Bouncing towards the Deer Lake goal again, and the Royals controlling. Guy at the point just passes around behind the net, trying to center it off a stick down the ice. They're going to call that Oising against Deer Lake. And play is called. 8.49 gone in this 
First period, second period, I should say, another close one between these two teams. Last night, the Royals defeating Deer Lake 6-5 in overtime. And we've only just got one goal to show for nearing the midway mark of the second period. From the faceoff, Red Wings lead pass at center, Coffey shooting it around. Hines, Michael Hines for Coffey. McKay shot off a stick off the end glass. Sims in front, broken up. And it's shot back in by McKay. Allen. Check that. Brady Parsons behind his net. Long pass at center. Broken up. Again. And Parsons will chase after it. With Hines in pursuit. Got it ahead for us, Andrew Smith, but he's checked off the puck. And it's passed back. Crossways pass. Deer Lake making some changes up front. Intercepted. Here comes the Royals. Defenseman lost the stick. Shot right on. Oh, he lost it. It's a broken stick. Anyways, he's without it. Pass it to Leg, and here come the Red Wings on the left wing. One on two. And being skated off the puck was uh, Luke Parsons. Long pass at the Royals' blue line. But Deer Lake come up with it at center ice. Over to Parsons. Shot. Deflection just went wide. Langdon there with the opportunity. He'll pass around for Parsons. His pass broken up by Brown for Colburn. Goes back inside the blue line of the Deer Lake Red Wings. At center ice, Royals couldn't keep possession. And it's swiped to the Deer Lake blue line. Here comes Parsons having a look. Who's with him? He'll shoot. Blocker saved by Wolfrey. Shot around the boards. And out comes Colburn on the left wing, crossing center, crossing the blue line. He's having a look. And he'll shoot it in and head to the bench on a line change. Fired into the cornerback zone on an open wing, and that's a signal for Deer Lake to start changing them up. Guy off the boards and out, bouncing puck to the Deer Lake blue line. Pass over on the right side. Parsons heading towards goal, back end it right on, rebound! Oh, what a save there, that was blocked, one or the other. As Deer Lake came close there, that shot hit a Deer Lake player in front of that, comes back to the point. Robinson again, his shot is blocked. Deer Lake can't clear the zone. Sorry, Cornerbrook can't clear the zone. Deer Lake pressing here. Jones off the boards. Guy crossing center, crossing the blue line. Shot is wide. King looking for Normor Wells. Allaby. Kicks it in to the deer leg zone. Royals got to clear to get it back on side. And that's flicked high and into Cornerbrook territory. Guy, cross ice pass. That was down the ice. No, no, no icing, says the linesman. He said the deer leg player could have played it at the blue line. Now that's going to be icing. And play is called. 7.24 left in this first, second period, I should say. And it's been a brisk Second period. Deer Lake leading 1-0 on an early first period goal by Dylan Coffey. From the faceoff, Cornerbrook controlling back to the point. Shot, that's why. Off the boards and just wide of the goal. Down the ice by Coffey, but it's going to be Parsons passing ahead too far. And it's controlled by Deerlake McKay 
Getting it ahead. Backhanded all the way to the goalie. And Wolfrey not taking any chances. He'll hang on and we'll get a face off. Six fifty-five left in the second period. And lines were going all the way back to the Deer Lake net. In fact, behind the net, linesman and the referee having a look see at the ice. Gonna have to do some repair work. So with that in mind. Just want to remind you about the uh, Quarterback Royals next weekend. Two games at home against the Stephenville Lightning. Friday, February 2nd, game time here at the Civic Center, 8 o'clock. And Saturday, February 3rd at 7.30. Now, that will do it for the uh, regular season schedule at home. Royals still have uh, two road games to play, and they will come the next weekend, Friday, February 9th at the Stephenville Dome against the Lightning. That game will start 8 o'clock. And then at the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium in Grand Falls, Windsor, the Cataracts will host the Royals on Sunday, February 11th. And that game will take place at 1.30. So as you can see on your screen, way down there behind the Deer Lake goal, Two linesmen and referee working on the ice. And appears they may have corrected the problem. As appears, well, they're using their skates. Get more uh, stove. This ice has been used uh, extensively this weekend here in Quarterbrook as there's been a uh, AAA major uh, midget hockey tournament taking place here. Saw some of the action earlier this evening. Some big boys, I'll tell you, out there on that ice. Oh, get more snow from the uh, Civic Center crew here. So, an e a little bit of a long delay here. As, we, as I was saying a few moments ago, a brisk period this has been. And I think players on both teams welcome this little interlude. As I normally don't see this for going for so long. Having to uh, make a repair on the ice. As you see. Uh, Evan McHugh with the camera closing in on it. And I mean, you can get a deep rut, and then all of a sudden, my gosh, skate could go into that deep rut, and there goes your leg, and either broken or the ligaments are are uh, ripped apart. Still at it. Deer Lake leading one nothing on an early goal by Dylan Coffey. And that's where we stand. This time last night around this Part of the game, I do believe Deerlich was leading four to three. The Royals, if you missed that, the Royals won six five last night. But it was exciting in the sense that 
Deer Lake led 4-2 in the second period. The Royals could have called the end of the Royals came back, tied it up 4-4 after two. And then it was uh, Deer Lake getting a 5-4 lead. It was tied up 5-5 by the Royals on the power play with three seconds left. And then the Royals again with a power play carried over to the uh, uh, overtime. The Royals win it 6-5. Now the referee has gone to both benches. Now. I don't know what he's saying, but are they going to uh, have the two teams retire to the dressing rooms and add this on to the third period? That's a long period, 26, 27 minutes. I mean, I could see it. It was like 22, 23. Well, now they're having a discussion with the crew there by the Zamboni uh, entrance. So, well, I guess they're getting ready or not. Here comes the crew. And now well, the ice crew. Just doing whatever they're doing. Well, the players wait, some of them down in the Royal Zone because that's where the next face off is going to be. That impression having a discussion about it all okay and everybody seems to be satisfied with the repairs and we'll get ready for the resumption of the second period Faceoff will be in the Cornerbrook zone. Everybody should be well rested. Now, the referee discussed some things with the uh, Cornerbrook bench, and then he'll go over to the Deerlick bench. For what? I don't know. Anyways, the repairs beyond the Deer Lake goal have been fixed. Now, Deer Lake, the referee talking to Deer Lake coach Darren Langdon about the issue. If he is suggesting for the two teams to retire to the dressing room. Uh, no, don't look like it. Nobody's leaving the benches. And the Royals players skating around because this has been going on. A little bit too long for the players' liking. So, a lot of Royals players are taking a skate. 
Maybe that's what the referee is suggesting. Players can have a brief little skate before they resume. I don't know. The Royals are certainly out there, and you can see them stretching out the kinks. This has been a long delay. But it appears play will resume. And the face off will be to the left of the corner for goal. Now, here comes the acid test, the puck. Oh, a good shot by the referee. Got the linesman in the uh, skate from inside the uh, world blue line. Now comes the acid test, the puck. And the puck's fly. That's the key. All right. As you heard Leo Bruce in the background, waiting for the ice to freeze up. Okay. So, the snow that they put down there has to harden up. And that's what we're waiting for. And this delay. Let's see, now we have the maintenance gate open, or the Zamboni gate, wondering what's going on. So, we're in a, well, in baseball, they call it a rain delay. We're in a freeze delay here in hockey. One begs to wonder. How long this is going to last? I don't know. Well, everybody seems to be satisfied. Everybody has left. So, there you go. Our delay is over. Face off to the left of the corner brook goal. With 6.55 left in this second period. And Deer Lake with the one goal lead. Here we go. From the faceoff. Jones has checked, lost his stick. Parsons. Get it. Well, the pass went out the center ice. It's Sims shooting it in, deflected. Into the corner to the left of Wolfrey. Jones with it. Moving around his goal. Being watched by Langdon. Banks it off the glass and out and into. Well, Guy tried to chase after the trailer. Shot. That stopped. Ends up into the netting. And play is called. 6.23 left in this second period. 1-0 for the Deer Lake Red Wings. The only mark on the score sheet this period was uh, Deer Lake. Sims going off for cross-checking at uh, 431. And from the face-off, puck along the boards. And the Red Wings passing around. Trying to move it out on the left wing. Lead pass for Coffee. He'll bank it off the boards into the cornerbrook zone. Shot around the goal by Guy. Cleared out. Sims for Brandon Hines. Didn't connect, and that's an icing infraction against the Deer Lake Red Wings. And the faceoff will be to the right of the near leg goal. 
Jordan King out there for the faceoff for the Cornerbrook Royals. Robinson shoots it around his goal. Penny, his pass. Stopped by King. He's trying to center it. Nathan King with it. Back to the point. Allaby. Shot off the boards wide. It looked like that was like a shot pass. Sims around to Robinson. Broken up by Brown. Brown again. Stopped. And out comes Mullet. Two on one, two on two. He's taken out of the play nicely by Allaby. Looking for Robinson. Robinson in the corner. Sharp angle shot stopped by Wolfrey. Shoveled ahead. That shot is blocked. And it's backhanded out by the Royals. Less than five minutes to go in the second period. One nothing dearly. Tipped in by Parsons. Luke Parsons chasing after it. He's stopped. Langdon trying to center it. Goes through the slot area. And Hunt's going to swing away from the Royals in four of them. Break out ahead to Normore Wells. Wells trying to go towards goal. He skated off by Robinson. Smothered by Clark. And plays calm. We're going to get a faceoff to the right of the Deer Lake goal. Bit of starch has been taken out of the game with the lengthy delay. Hopefully, second win. These players will get. Kind of hard to get back into the flow after such a lengthy delay because of an ice problem. A brawl, you can understand. Ice problem, that's eh, different. Shot back in by Parsons. And the Red Wings try and move it out on the left wing. Cross ice pass. Parsons tips it into the Royal zone. Langdon couldn't get it. Parsons, his shot hits a skate. And a headband pass for Colburn at center. Crossing the blue line. Colburn passing over, looking for Antle. And the Red Wings bring it up. Parsons at his own blue line. Looking for Langdon inside his blue line. Team Red Wings making some changes and it's tipped in to the Cornerbrook zone. Behind the net. Chance for the Red Wings. Shot right on. Stick save. Robinson in the corner. Center again. Langdon, a couple of whacks, three whacks. It's kicked. It's still loose in front. Hits a leg, goes to one side. Banked off the boards, kept in by Butt, but Colburn will headband it. Three on two. Royals making changes. They were hemmed in their own end for a long time by the Red Wings. Ryan got it in. Oh, picked up off the side of the net. Oh, Clark almost got caught out of his net. Kicked back the guy. He's checked off the puck. But his partner on defense, Jones, passes ahead. And here come the Royals, three on two. Shot stopped by Clark. Back into the circle. Shot right on. Clark the save. And it ends up in the Royals bench and play is called. 2.28 to go in this second period. Still 1-0 Deer Lake. Face off outside the blue line of the uh, Red Wings because it was a Red Wing player that shot the puck into the Royals bench. And from the face off. Got in by the Royals. Behind the goal. Puck is still loose, and the quarters are close. And the Red Wings, long lead pass for Mullet off the boards down the ice. That is icing. As Mullet did not make contact with that puck, 
And the faceoff comes back into the near leg zone in the last two minutes of this second period. Face off to the left of the Deer Lake goal. And from the face off, Red Wings win it. Behind the net. Here come the Red Wings. Again, that goes down the ice. And again, that's icing against the Deer Lake Red Wings. That takes 12 seconds off the clock. And once again, we'll get a face off to the left of the Deer Lake goal. And what has been a very long second period because of uh, ice problems here at the Civic Center. And it's chopped out off a leg. Here come the Red Wings crossing the Cornerbrook Blue Line shot. That's off the end glass, deflected. And Kept in by Sims. Parsons centering it. Robinson pinching in. Gets it to Langdon behind the net. Tried to center it. But here comes Normore Wells. The trailer passing over to Normore Wells. And Clark will stop it behind the net. But Normore Wells. Had to force Clark to play it in a hurry. Less than a minute to go, and that hit a deer like player on the bench, and play is called. And the face off comes back in the deer like zone. Darn a goal so far in this second period. The Royals can even it up with this face off. To the left of the deer like goal. And from the face on. Pushed along the boards. Coffee, the, the goal scorer of this game so far, cleared it out. Robinson to Coffee. Brandon Hines. He lost possession. A bouncing puck at center. Lead pass on the uh, right wing going in. Shot right on. And that was stopped by Clark. As Normore had a good opportunity there. Parsons, 25 seconds left. Got around. Not out. Deflection stopped. Normore, he's tied up in the corner. 10 seconds left. Behind the net. Backhand shot. Stopped. Behind the goal again. Normore trying to get it back to the point. Shot. And that's wide and time has expired. So the second period ends with a little bit of a discussion. And will this warrant in any penalties? I don't think. Linesman are keeping everybody at bay. And our second period has ended with a, a rarity in this league. No goals. So our second period summary is brief. No scoring in the second period in the Deer Lake Red Wings lead. One to nothing. Just the one penalty in that period. 431 Deer Lake Thins, two minutes for cross checking. Power plays on the night. Cornerback Royals are 0 for 2. And the Deer Lake Red Wings are 0 for 4. Score once again after two periods of play. Deer Lake Red Wings 1, Cornerbrook Royals nothing. We'll be back with our third period after the completion of the second intermission. I'm Chris Green reminding you you're watching the Central West Senior Hockey League game between the Cornerbrook Royals and Deer Lake Red Wings, all part of a McHugh production.
Back at the Civic Center here in Quarterbrook for our third period. Somewhat of a long night tonight. Due to ice problems in the second period. Hopefully everything is okay after the ice has been resurfaced. Cornerback Royals will defend the goal to our left and the Deer Lake Red Wings to our right. One nothing for the Deer Lake Red Wings on our first period goal by Dylan Coffey. No scoring in the second period. Power plays on the night. Deer Lake is 0 for 4 and Cornerbrook 0 for 2. Another close game between these two. This is the final meeting of the year. Unless they meet in the playoffs. So let's see what happens for the Royals. Will the lightning strike twice and come from behind like they did in the third period last night in Deer Lake? Or will Deer Lake get a split? And it's one of these would be one of these rare splits for a home and home series with the road team winning the two games. So for the Deer Lake Red Wings, they'll send out Brandon Hines, Michael Hines, and Dylan Coffey. For the Quinnipiac Royals, it'll be Colby House, Brady Dormore, and Tommy Ryan. Royals putting out a checking line against the big three for the uh, Red Wings. And we're underway with our third period. Drove by the Red Wings, lead pass, knocked down by Normore. Pass ahead for Coffee off the boards. Cleared out, a lead pass for House. But it's corralled by the uh, Deer Lake defenseman, Robinson. And it's shot out, Guy. Hanging on as the steam is changing. Banks it off the board. Right to the goalie. He'll ask his mother, Clark. And play is called. Face off to the left of the uh, Deer Lake goal. Antle out there against Langdon. And from the faceoff, shot that's blocked. Robinson uh, it's passed it off the boards and out. Guy inside his own blue line. Banks it off the boards. Back into the deer leg zone. No icing as McKay played it. McKay eludes the check. Passing ahead to Thomas. Cross ice pass. Too far. And it's picked up by the Red Wings once again. McKay in front of his goal to Langdon. His pass, it's a stick. And it's shot in by the Red Wings. It's a sign to make some changes, especially on defense. And Sims with it over to McKay. Shoots it in, he cross center, no icing. Alibi. To Normore, tip, that's icing, and play is called. 141 gone in this third period, and it's 1 0. Deer Lake, you just joined us. The only goal was scored early in the first period. Play is called. And being waved out of the faceoff circle. Parsons, I do believe. 
Mullen will take the face off. Picked up by the Royals. They'll cross center. King eases the puck into the corner. Shot around by Robinson. Lead pass for Penny was behind him. And the Royals will shoot it back into the deer leg zone. Sims. They'll pass around to Robinson. Off the boards and out. Allaby. Or Nathan King looking for Jordan King. Pass deflected and ends up behind the Royals' goal. Royals hanging on. Deer like making some changes. Two players collide. Well, they went for a spill, really. They both lost an edge. And here comes King, stick handling his way through in the corner, tried to center it for Normar Wells. And out comes Hines, Brandon Hines. Wrist shot right on, and Wolfrey makes the save, and play is called. 2.59 gone in this third period, a reminder. Royals are home for two next weekend. Against the Stephen Bowl Lightning, Friday, February 2nd at 8 o'clock, and Saturday, February 3rd at 7.30. And from the faceoff, borders are close. Steered around the goal. Centered for Hines, broken up. Lead pass, here come the Royals. Smith in front, pass was behind, net off the boring, play is called. And Deer Lake taking exception to it. But cooler heads prevail. We're getting into that uh, danger zone time. Reminder, any player gets a five minute major. Well, uh, after 10 minutes of this period, will be suspended for the next game of the Royals are going to be short-handed on that bang-bang play. That's goaltender interference at 3.20. And getting the gate for the Royals. I'm going to wait for Leo to uh, announce it. And for Deer Lake, it's their fifth power play, and the faceoff will be in the uh, Quarterbrook zone. Clay King gets the penalty. And the Royals will shoot it down the ice. Well, they didn't say goal center interference, they just said interference. Well, they crashed it to the goalie. So the Deer Lake Red Wings on their fifth power play of the night. They're over for four. Guy for the Royals. Tried to fire it out. It's kept in by Robinson, but he's checked. And Sims will have to play chase. Back in his own end. Four minutes gone in this third period. 1.15 left in the uh, power play for the Deer Lake Red Wings, who have that one goal lead. The only goal of the game so far. As Sims having a look before moving it on the right side. Pass broken up. Hines. Shot right on. Wolfrey got a piece of it and play is called. Did they say a deflection or not? Or well, that was a clear, clean shot and Wolfrey did not touch it. Thought he did from my vantage point. And the faceoff comes outside the blue line. So that was a shot that was wide. I am wide and out of play with 50 seconds left in the Deer Lake man advantage. And from the faceoff, Red Wings, McKay passing on the left wing to Parsons. Edge of the circle, passing into the corner, back to Parsons. 
into the corner again. Coming out around in front, back to the point. Shot right on, Wolf for the save. And play is called. As McKay with the shot there by the Red Wings and denied by Wolfrey. Face off to the right of goal. 28 seconds left in the Deer Lake power play. From the face off. Red Wings in control, passing around, back to the point. Over to McKay. One timer off the side of the net. It did not hit the netting. And Deer Lake controlling again. Back to Robinson at the right point. This pass, stand on it, got it back in time to Langdon. Into the corner, back to Robinson. Penalty has expired. Royals at full strength. And Wolfrey snares that one before the Red Wing player had a chance to put a stick on it and keep it a one goal game. So Deer Lake now. 0 for 5 on the power play. Face off to the left of the Cornerbrook goal. And from the face off. Flipped high, but gloved down onto his stick. That's an okay play. And the Royals are going to bring it out. Two of them. Lead pass at center ice. Crossing the blue line. Normore Wells passing into the corner, shot around the goal. Royals trying to press here. King, cross ice, shot wide of mark. Nathan King to Jordan King. Got away from two, hanging on. Centered it, but it's intercepted, but not out. Here's the shot, no. As it got caught up in Brown's skate, and it ends up in the corner. Quick, not out. Royals keeping it in. Wiseman says that's not offside, and Deerlick had to bring it out. It's flipped. High, bouncing puck. King chasing after it. He's all alone as his teammates are changing, and boy, the fans howling for a penalty there as King was roughed up. Behind the net, both teams have completed a change. Lead pass, Hines passing back to Robinson. Passing over to Sims, to Robinson. Flip tie, down the ice. No icing, says the linesman, so the Royals have to steer it around the goal. And try the left side now. Out they come. Three on three, off a skate to a Royal. It's in the slot, the shot, that's wide off a leg. And cleared out by Coffee. Tipped in to the Red Wing zone by Normore. But Robinson trying to move it out, a give and go at center ice. Lucas Robinson crossing the blue line. He's brought down by Guy. Play is called, and the Royals are going to be shorthanded. Hooking call against Guy at 7.33. And for the Deer Lake Red Wings, it will be their... What happened there? Something wrong in the penalty box with glass. And Lineman's in there. Having a look, see. The gate. Oh, the gate is stuck. That's the problem. Now we gotta what could go wrong here tonight? I don't know. The gate is stuck. They can't close the gate. Somebody's looking for a toolbox and a hammer. And guy goes off. 
sitting there in the penalty box and just getting a, a replay look at it. He goes in and can't uh, can't close the gate. So At uh, 7.33. And for the Deer Lake Red Wings, their sixth power play of the night, the road for five. And leading one nothing on the scoreboard. So, do they have it fixed? Not yet. Well, this is the second lengthy delay we've had here tonight. Like I said earlier, the first one was the ice problem in the second period. Now, the glass problem in the penalty box, and that has been fixed. Thank you to the crew here at the Civic Center doing a great job. And in a few minutes, it's going to be time for the most important announcement of the night, and that is the 50-50. And from the faceoff, Deer Lake on the power play, they could not control. Sims passing ahead to Brandon Hines. 
He'll fire it around looking for Michael Hounds on the right wing. Back to the point. Controlling it. McKay. Passing over. Hines shot. That's wide. Sims with it. Back at the point on the left side. Passing into the corner. Tried to center it. And the Royals get possession and shoot it down the ice. 120 left in the Deer Lake power play. And the Red Wings bringing it out slowly. These delays, like I said, they've kind of taken the starch out of the game. And the Royals get it out. Langdon at his own blue line. Over to Sims. Ahead to Langdon. Tipped it over on the wing to Hines. Michael Hines with it. For Langdon behind the goal. Cross ice pass. McKay. Back to Sims. Passing over. Shot by Hines. Rebound. In front. Shot, but not out. McKay. One timer. That's why by Michael Hines. And the Royals can't get it out. McKay keeping it in. Over to Sims. To Hines. To McKay. Shot. Glove by Wolfrey. And play is called. Okay. 50 50. 2 4 4 4. Man. Eh. Two, four, four, four. A generous crowd tonight for the 50 50. Wow. Shot right on. Royals trying to clear it out at the. Dying stages of this Deer Lake power play right on goal to Clark. And the penalty has expired in Deer Lake now. 0 for 6 on the power play. And it's still a 1 0 game. Penny in the slot area. Turns the shot right on. Stick saved by Wolfrey. Banked off the glass down the ice. And that's icing against the Royals. And with that, they're, they're going to get a line change, I do believe. Six seconds away from the midway mark of this third period, and would you believe it, just one goal. Here, like Red Wings, won the Cornerbrook Royals, nothing. So the faceoff to the right of the Royals goal. Jordan King, Drew Langdon for the faceoff. King winning it for Cornerbrook. In the corner, but it's Deerlake coming up with possession. And Deerlake player took a hard slide in the boards as he lost an edge. The Royals come up with it. And that's a late pass at center ice. Stop. It, well, steered towards goal and smothered as shooting it. Well, getting some pushing and shoving. Gotta watch it here. As Gormor well shot it towards goal. And everybody's got to be on their best behavior so to speak because you get in a fight at this stage you draw a major in a game misconduct it carries over to the next game in other words you're suspended for the next game from the face off Gerlich shoots it down the ice that's icing again and another face off. Michael Hines for Deer Lake. Andrew Andel for Quarterbrook will once again hear this face off. From the face off. It's along the boards. Passed around. Colburn chasing after it. Comes back to the point. The shot. That's wide. And cross ice pass in front of his own goal was the deer like defender Sims. But no harm. Coffee takes a hit. Shot off the board. They score!
Brandon Hines has made it 2 nothing for Deer Lake. At 10.45, he used his speed. Coffey shooting it into the Cornerbrook zone. And Johnny on the spot was Hines to pick it up. Shoot, score, beat Wolfrey. It's 2 nothing Deer Lake. Big goal in such a low scoring game. Royals got to throw caution to the wind now. Sims will get an assist on that goal as well. Deerlick pressing here with the two goal advantage. Kept in by Penny. Wolfrey behind the goal, leaving it. Lead pass. Andrew Smith shovels the puck into the Deerlake zone. McKay. Pass. It's a leg. And it's shot in by the Red Wings' Langdon. Langdon again in the corner. Centers it. Stopped by Wolfrey. And that shot down the ice, right on goal to Clark, no icing. Clark's going to smother and play his call. Well, <laughs> these players don't want to play the next game if they keep it up. Now they're separated. Does it warrant a penalty or two? Uh, we're going to get one for sure against the Royals and one against the Red Wings. Going on for the Royals will be Andrew Smith and going off for the Deer Lake Red Wings will be McKay. And the penalties are coming at 11.44. No power play. Both teams remain five skaters aside. Guy inside his own blue line. So both players get roughing after the whistle. Royals bringing it out on the right side. Stop. Lead pass, Drew Langdon, shot. Locker save, Wolfrey. Langdon behind the goal, centers it. But the Royals will come away. At center, shooting it in, no. Now shooting it towards goal, deflected just wide. And out. Jones inside his own blue line. Passing ahead, tipped, there's no icing. It was tipped by Normore. Coffee passing in the corner, getting it back. Passing to Anderson on the left side. Long shot, and he'll chase after it. It's behind the net. Centered. Nobody there. Now Deerleg showing some forward checking here. Anderson tipped it towards goal. Centered. Deerleg smelling blood here, trying to. Expand on their two goal lead, but the Royals, they're going to bring it out. At center ice, crossing the blue line, but stopped. And Mullet for the Red Wings. Passing back. Sims off the glass, but it goes right to a Royal, and it's shot back in. It's onside. King, he's tied up. And out comes Penny. Lead pass at center. Here come the Red Wings with a shot. Blocker save. Penny, his shot. That's off the glass. Coffee fires it around the Royals' goal. Looking for Penny in the left corner. He doesn't play it, but the Royals are going to bring it out. Here, one on two. Shot, stick save. Six minutes to go. And the Royals trail by two. King. In the corner. 
Back to the point, Allaby. Shot right on. Big rebound. And it's cleared ahead. Mullock lost it in his skates. Shot into the Deer Lake zone as the Royals making a change. Royals got a press here. They need two to tie. And Allaby will go back inside his own blue line. Long pass tipped by Hunt all the way to goal. Clark will play it to Robinson. He'll shoot it around the boards. And that's down the ice. That's icing. And play is called. So Tom becoming an important factor for the Royals. Trailing 2-0. It was 1-0 after one for Deer Lake. No scoring in the second. And here in the third period, Brandon Hines giving Deer Lake a 2-0 lead at 10-45. Antle and Michael Hines for this faceoff. And from the faceoff, it's won by the Red Wings. They'll shoot it around the goal. And out. No, it's not out. Kept in by Hunt. That's uh, not with a high stick, but now Deerlake touches it. And play continues. Thomas got it outside the Deerlake zone. And the Royals with possession once again. Flip it back in. They got to press the Red Wings. Robinson to Brandon Hines, but it's broken up. Robinson again, he'll just flip it high, and it's at center ice. Michael Hines, bouncing puck in the slot area. Ends up behind the goal. And here goes Normore Wells on the left wing. At center ice, two on two. Going wide on the right side, going towards goal, shot! Blocker saved by Clark. Great opportunity there. Another shot stick saved by Clark. Passed into the corner. And McKay clears the zone. Jones passing back to Guy. Four minutes to go in this third period. 2 nothing Deer Lake. Lead pass ahead for Normore Wells. He'll shoot it around. Colburn passing beyond the net for King. For Colburn, shot! That's why. Went off a stick. McKay passing over to Parsons. Long pass for Anderson. That too far. And is that a, an out of play, I should say? Okay. No icing. Correct myself. I thought it went out of play, but it was icing. And the faceoff is back in the here like zone. King and Langdon for the faceoff. And the referee ain't liking how the two are lined up. The lineman didn't see them. He was, they were breathing right on him. And from the faceoff, Guy, his pass broken up by Robinson. And here come the Red Wings, three of them. Shoot it into the Cornerbrook zone. Wolfrey trying to get it to his winger, but that's broken up. Wrap around, stopped by Wolfrey. Centered, nope. Now it is, but it's intercepted. And here come the Royals. At center ice. Cross ice pass going in on the left wing. Stick, stick checked at the last moment. Clark stops it, and play is called. So we'll be keeping an eye on, well, Wolfrey has been uh, removed. And the Royals are going to go with six skaters on five with 3.04 to go. Royals need two. Face off. King and Hines. Run by the Royals. Shot right on. Clark the save. It's loose in front. They score! <laughs> Matt Colburn banging in the rebound. 
And it's a 2-1 game. Royals winning the faceoff. One shot, then the rebound. It's in. So Colburn from Normore Wells and Jordan King. And the puck is back in the Deer Lake zone. Wolfrey not out of the net because the puck is at the Royals blue line. Coffey brings it in. Shot from a sharp angle. As wide and the Royals just cleared out the center. Trying to make a change, both teams. Lead pass. Broken up. And the Red Wings get it out. Alibi. Passing ahead. Normore Wells back to Alibi. At center. Two minutes left. Alibi. Stop. Now Wolfrey is going to the bench. Shot right on. Love by Clark. And play is called. So, quarters are close there, and players know they got to be on uh, their best behavior, so to speak. So that Royals goal, Colburn from uh, Normore Wells and Jordan King at 17:01. Face off to the right of the Deer Lake goal, and a timeout is being called. So both teams have traded goals in this third period. Brandon Hines from Coffey and Sims for Deer Lake at 1045, and then the Royals, as I just mentioned, at 1701, Colburn from uh, No More Wells and Jordan King. Power play so far tonight. Deer Lake 0 for 6, Cornerbrook 0 for 2. Just a reminder, Royals at home next weekend. Two games against Stephenville. Friday, February 2nd at 8 o'clock here at the Civic Center. And then Saturday, February 3rd at 7.30. And that will be the home games for the regular season. Next time after those two games, the Royals will be on home ice during the playoffs. Face off to the right of the Deer Lake goal. Here we go. Six attackers for the Royals from the face off. It's not out. Clear. Kept in. Deflection. Blocker save. Royals controlling. Antle being watched by Hunt. Shot deflected. Ends up behind the net. Robinson can't get it out. Kept in. Takes a shot into the corner. Centered. Behind the goal, Robinson again battling for it. Trying to keep it along the boards and waste time. And Hines will set it down the ice, a twirling puck, no icing. And Guy with it, 1-10 to go. Here comes Guy, six attackers, that center, crossing the blue lunge. One hands the puck into the corner, behind the net. He's tied up, comes back to the point, King. Shot off a leg, off the glass. Off the glass again, less than a minute to go. And it's cleared out and picked up as Hines is gonna go in and score. No, he missed, he missed. I, are you kidding me? The Royals got a chance. Here come the Royals. Are you kidding me? The Royals pressing. 30 seconds left. Puck comes out. Antle has to hang on. His team has to clear the zone. One last gasp for the Royals. 20 seconds left. Here they come. Shot. That's wide. Kept in at the right point. Shot. Oh, the stick. There's a chance. Antle. He's hooked. Pedaling coming up. And here comes the shot. Stop. They score! One point one second. 
second left. And the Royals have done it again. Two nights in a row. Two, two, tie. I thought Hines was going to score. He didn't. The Royals came back, proved me wrong, and tied the game. And that is it. We're going to overtime. So that goal came from Allenby at 1959. Here is the recap of that third period for you. As we finish, regulation at 2-2. Deer Lake took a 2-0 lead at 10.45. Brandon Hines from Coffee and Sims. Then the Royals get on the board, 17.01. Colburn from Normore Wells and Jordan King. And then at 19.59, Jordan King from Allenby. Pedalies in that period, Quarterbrook. 320. Uh, Clay King, goaltender interference. Uh, 730. Cornerbrook, Guy, hooking. 1144. Cornerbrook, Andrew Smith, Deer Lake, McKay, both two minutes roughing after the whistle. Power plays on the night. Cornerbrook 0 for 2, Deer Lake 0 for 6. So we go to overtime, five minutes, and then after that, if it's still time, we go to a shootout. And what excitement we have here tonight at the Civic Center. 2-2. Two, two. But the big story was before the goal, where they're like Miss the net. And then the Royals storm back and score. Brandon Hines missing. And for that mistake, the Red Wings had to pay for it. So instead of winning 3-1, it's a 2-2 tie. So three on three, five minutes over time. Let's see what happens here. Royals won last night in overtime, 6-5 in Deer Lake. Let's see what happens here. So we're ready. Here come the Red Wings. Hines shot right on. Rebound right on. Hines trying to redeem himself for that mistake. And here comes King. Two on one. King crossing the blue line, going in, shot. Oh, he hit the post. He hit the post, and here come the Red Wings. Hines, shot, pad save Wolfrey on Brandon Hines. Two on one, here we go again. King passing over to King. Couldn't connect. Lead pass on the right wing. Red Wings, Robinson shot, that's blocked. Robinson again, Langdon all alone in front of the net. Royals player is hurt. After blocking the shot, heads to the bench. King's hanging on, looking for support. Trying to wheel away from Langdon. And in fact, he'll retreat all the way back around his goal. And here come the Royals. At center right, crossing the blue line, going in, around the goal, hanging on, Norma Wells, back to the point, shot, deflection, just went into the netting, and play is called. And the faceoff will come outside the blue line. Three thirty-one remaining in overtime. And this 2-2 tie with the Royals pulled it out of the fire with 1.1 second left. From the faceoff, Red Wings control. Sims going behind his net, having a look. Passing on the right wing. 
Shot in around. Anderson trying to pick it up in the corner. Being watched. Tried to center it. Broken up. And the Royals are going to come away on the right wing. Crossing the blue line. Colburn going in. Shot is blocked. And here come the Red Wings. Anderson at center. Crossing shot. That's high. And here come the Royals. One on two. They're making a change. Two on two. Drop pass. Going towards the slot area. Shot! Glove by Clark. And play is tall. King letting go of the shot there. And faceoff will be to the left of the Deerlight goal. King taking the pace off against Matthew Hines. Hines with it. Being watched by King, lead pass at center. Brandon Hines looking for Matthew Hines, but it's deflected into the corner. Matthew Hines, he's checked. And the Royals are going to bring it out at center ice. Crossing the blue line on the left wing. Looking for the winger. Going in to Deke. Stopped by Clark. Edo with a great opportunity. But denied by Clark. See on your screen. Time remaining in the O4 time. 2.14. And what has turned out to be a, a great game between these two rivals. Antle and Langdon. Langdon wins the face off for Deer Lake. Out comes Coffey. Going towards goal. It's pass. Broken up by Guy. Coffey again for Robinson. Hanging on to it. Let's it go. Soft flat pass. Picked up by Langdon. For Coffee. Hanging on to it, being watched by Guy. Guy trying to take him off the puck. Side of the neck. Langdon in the corner. Back towards the blue line. Shot. Glove by Wolfrey. And play is called. <laughs> 1 38 left. If it's still tied, we go to a shootout. From the faceoff, Royals with possession. Comes free to King. He's going to bring it out. He's got a trailer. He's going to pass to him. Crossing the blue line. No more Wells. He's tied up. Trying to get free. Back to the point. Guy with it. The shot. Right on the rebound. Bouncing around. King with it. Hanging on. Upended. Royals get it back. Norma well. Stopped by Clark. Clark shovels it ahead. And it's flipped out by Anderson. Less than a minute to go in the overtime. Guy to King. Crossing the blue line. Going in. King in the slot area. Can't get a shot away. Over to Normore Wells. Being watched. Over to Guy. The King in the corner. For Guy! Just too hot to handle. Guy again. Shot right on. Comes back to King. Hanging on. 30 seconds left in overtime. Stick handles his way. Tried to get through. He's denied. Sims. Lead pass. Breakaway. All alone. Going in. Oh, Wolfrey with the big save on Hines. 13 seconds left. Here come the Red Wings. Hines. Scores! And the Deer Lake Red Wings bobbing Brandon Hines, who redeems himself, scoring in overtime at 4.52. And your final, 
Deer Lake Red Wings, three. Cornerbrook Royals, two. With plenty of excitement tonight. Here in the Central West Senior Hockey League. I'm surprised they still got a voice. So your final once again, Deer Lake three, Cornerbrook two. We'll be back next weekend here at the Civic Center, Friday, February 2nd, eight o'clock is game time, Newfoundland time, as the Cornerbrook Royals take on the Stephenville Lightning. On behalf of Evan McHugh, who did a yeoman's work tonight, handling the camera with all our lengthy delays, I'm Chris Green, saying so long from the Civic Center in Cornerbrook. And just a reminder, tonight's game has been a presentation of the Cornerbrook Royals and McHugh Productions.